Got Sean Walker, our network guy, here to talk about networking again. And uh, specifically today, I wanted to talk about Ethernet cables and also routers and the different speeds. I know it doesn't sound that exciting, but if you're going to be wiring your office or your home office or home for that matter, I think it's important that you know about some of the different types of cabling and the different types of routers and why you need them as far as speed is concerned. Uh, a lot of people refer to these as network cabling, Ethernet cabling. Uh, there's also another designation as well. This is uh, called a Category 5 cable or a Cat 5 cable, but there's a couple other ones too. Correct. So Cat 5 is, is good for 10 megabit networking and 100 megabit. Um, when you go above that into the whole gigabit or 1000 base T realm, um, this type of cable might work, but it's probably not going to be totally reliable. So most offices and homes, if they've got you know, network cabling running through the walls and stuff, typically they'd have this Cat 5 cabling, right? Correct. Correct. Not that specific type because this is a patch cable yeah. and they're actually stranded wire okay. where the stuff that's in the walls is actually solid core. So when, when would you want to go to Cat 5E and Cat 6? And what's the difference between 5E and 6? Um, basically it's, it's the thickness of the wire and the way that it's actually braided and, and, and put together. Um, Cat 5E is basically a little bit better than Cat 5. It's, the E stands for enhanced, basically to f handle gigabit speeds. Cat 6 is really designed to go above and beyond that into the 10, 10 gigabit realm and beyond that. In other words, it's, it's more future proof. Um, whenever you're touching a wire, if you're opening up a wall or putting that in, buy the absolute best cable you can because that's basically an investment for, for farther down the road. Cable, you, don't, you don't want to be opening those walls again a few no, years down the no. road. Cable is cheap. It's installing it in the wall that's expensive. So does it matter really if you get Cat 6 cabling or Cat 5e cabling? Will that cable work with existing routers Absolutely. And, and switches, so Absolutely. it does, doesn't matter with that. doesn't matter that way. Um, just to kind of give you a reference point, most high-speed connections, if you've got one at home, for example, like a cable or a DSL, you're looking at 1.5 megabit transfer speed. So yeah. when we're talking about 10 megabits and 100 megabits, you can kind of get an indication of how fast that's going. But I guess as you get up to like 100 and uh, 1,000, which is a gigabit, uh, that's more, I guess, for video? Correct media and, and content aggregation. So if you have a, a number of different video feeds on a network, you're going to need some serious, serious capacity to send that information down the line. So most of the routers uh, you know, that uh, people pick up are essentially now what are called uh, 10 base T slash 100 routers. They'll do both kind of standard speeds. Uh, the next one up, as you were talking, is the gigabit, which is a, a thousand megabits, so super fast. Right. Do people need that? I, I actually bought one for my, my home office setup, but I, I know I'm not getting the speeds. Well, unfortunately, most common devices like a PC, um, you know, the, the hard drive speed and the bus speeds in those is not capable of getting to a gigabit. Um, but they can definitely exceed 100 megabits. So will you get some benefit from it? Absolutely. Um, when you get into large networks um, and, and big internet gateway junctions, you know, they're in the 10 gigabit realm, and those pipes are, are virtually full. Um, so, you know, you're going to get what you pay for when you buy a, a $200 or $150 router from a, a consumer electronics store, um, you know, you're, you're getting what you pay for. You're not buying a big Cisco carrier class router that, you know, costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, let's quickly talk about some do's and don'ts of basic networking. All right. So if, if when you're pulling wires through either a wall or through a ceiling or some, some structure, make sure that you don't put too much pressure or, or force on those, especially when they're going around corners. Because what's going to happen is if you get too much, too much pressure and that bends too tight, you're going to start getting fractures in that wire. Um, the main difference between wire that runs through walls and, and this piece of, of um, patch cabling is you can actually do this because it's um, stranded wire inside here, but in a wall it's actually solid. It's, it's, it's nowhere near as flexible, so you're going to damage it. Um, the second thing that you have to be concerned about when you're going through, when you're running things through walls is, is to keep the, the data lines, your, your Cat5 or Cat6 cabling, keep it away from any lighting fixtures, fluorescent lighting especially, or anything else that could potentially interfere with that, with that wiring. So those are a couple don'ts. What about uh, distance? Like how far can you run a cable? Um, Cat5, the spec for Cat5 is 295 feet. Um, but regardless, whenever you're, you're running a certain type of wire, check 
go and find out the specification, find out what the maximum distance it is. You know, there's, there's nothing worse than putting the time and money into riding a piece of wire some long distance to find out it's not going to work. One last dumb question, and I, I actually get this a lot, and I, I don't fully know the answer. Does it matter what color the cables are? No. Not really. Um, back in the old days, um, we always used to make sure that the, any crossover cable we had was a, a bright red or pink or something. But all devices now, they're all auto-detect. Auto so if you have a cross cable or something not quite right, most, nine times out of ten, it's actually going to figure it out and fix it on its own. So no, color so, doesn't. So my blue cable doesn't make it faster. No. Good to know. Sean Walker, network guy. If you want to get more information, we've uh, got lots of these types of clips up on our website, getconnectedtvshow.com. Thank <laughs> you.